the Kilmarnock support have been full of praise directed at the board this week, with most being delighted about the decision to put home fans first. It's the club's 150th year, so it's important that it's special and fair play to Billy Bowie and the rest of the Chiefs for sticking up for the Killy faithful. The game could be huge for Steve Clark's men who are aiming to get into Europe for the first time in 18 years. And loyal fan Ronnie McLean was delighted by yesterday's announcement. He told Football Scotland, I don't think this is a question of if this is fair or unfair on Rangers fans. I think the Kilmarnock board have decided to do what's best for Killy fans and for my reading of it, it's a one-off decision based on the last game of the season, it's our 150th anniversary so there will be things lined up, it's potentially Steve Clark's last game and Chris Boyd could be retiring. Read more, also, depending on how fixtures go this could be a highly significant game for Kilmarnock. So I think the board have taken the decision because there is a lot happening. If it hadn't been Rangers on the last game of the season one don't think they would have done this. There's a lot of things the board can use to market this game and fans have been calling for it so there's a lot of boxes the board can tick with this decision. I don't think this is a judgment on Rangers fans, it's more about what's on the table for Kilmarnock. Kilmarnock director Billy Bowie, Image, SNS Group, I can understand why some Rangers fans are annoyed as well but Killy are doing what's best for their fans and you have to keep your own customers happy sometimes. It's a one-off set of circumstances. I wouldn't expect Rangers fans to pick up on that straight away because they will just see their allocation has been cut but going forward if they decide they only want one stand then that's a decision for them. It seems to me that it would be a knee-jerk reaction based on what could be a unique set of circumstances, let's block ads. Why? 